fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be. Whoa! Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it up over her very bad. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right hook to the head blocked. A little single collar tie there. And he landed the right hand there. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. He's trying to find a home for that right hand. What a punch. Hands high, hands high. Blocks the shot. That punch, no good. And they separate. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. You got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, missed on that one. Superman punch! Straight punch lands. All oh, the combinations continue to pile up. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing <laughs> in Tom Brady. Stop. John, <laughs> stop. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost part in Victor Martial Arts. The guys have found it. And they are fighting behind him real well. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. Oh! Wow! Outstanding back and forth first round. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. So a much 
much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can do oh! it. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a fight. Yeah, no doubt an absolutely brutal elbow to stop his opponent here tonight. And this has clearly been a weapon that has been a part of his arsenal in his UFC career. But it takes a lot of repetitions in the gym and a lot of confidence to willingly throw elbows the way he did there. So a lot of force in a short distance, and when you execute it like that, it is absolutely devastating. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of round number two. Declare the winner by Alright, oh, oh. so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.